Hubbard's Cove is like the historic summer getaway of Halifax. For generations, people have been coming here just to get away from it all. Um, we're only 30 minutes from Halifax along the 103. Just take exit 6. Here it is. And here's some of our hidden gems. I don't really know how else to put it, but quite simply, Hubbard's Cove is beach heaven. We have small ones, big ones, busy ones, quiet ones, anyone you could ever want, all within a short drive of each other. Here's the quick rundown, okay? So pay attention. There's Black Point Beach, Puddle Beach, Cleveland Beach, Winox Beach, Queensland Beach, Hubbard's Beach, Fox Point Beach, Mill Cove Beach, Bayswater Beach, and East River Beach. Okay, now in the heart of the cove you'll find the historic fish plant, which is now home to a sea of yachts and sailboats. Yes, and if you look close you may recognize this place from the hit TV series Black Harbor, shot from 1996 to 1999 I believe. One look at our shores and you'll know they're made for kayaking. And one star attraction is the Fairy Tale Castle, which you'll find tucked away in beautiful Southwest Cove. Think of Hubbard's Cove as your hub along the Blue Nose Coast. Why? Well, basically we have a lot of accommodations and from here you can explore all up and down the South Shore. We have cozy cottages, we have lovely B&Bs, great campgrounds, motels. Basically we have something for every budget and every taste. You want fresh lobster? We have fresh lobster. You can treat yourself at our lovely local lobster pound or you can sit back and savor a beautiful lobster supper at the world famous Shore Club. And once you're done your meal, kick back your heels with live music and a good old fashioned kitchen party. Maybe you'd like something a little cozier. For you, we have the Trellis Cafe which serves delicious fine food in a unique quaint atmosphere. What makes it unique? Well, you'll be surrounded by local arts and crafts, but take note of the huge metal safe door. Yes, I said safe door, because at one time, the trellis was the local bank. For some delicious pub grub, the Daphne Inn is the perfect place. The highlight on the menu is the famous Hot Rock Dining. A scorching slab of hot granite is delivered to your table where you can cook the meal yourself. A trip to Hubbard's Cove wouldn't be a trip without a stop at one of our fish and chip trucks. There's one just up the road from the Trellis Cafe called Sheila's Fish and Chips. Or if you want to spend the day at Queensland Beach, just look for the chip wagon. Either way, you won't leave hungry. Now, you'll have to keep your eyes open for our community center called the Hubbard's Barn. Every Saturday morning, you can enjoy a farmer's market. We have fresh local produce, original arts and crafts. There's walking trails, a kid's play area. And FYI, it's also where you'll find our very clean public washrooms. Very important. There's lots of fun shops to explore in Hubbard's Cove, and one of the highlights is definitely Lola's Landing. You'll need to take your time because it's like every nook and cranny in the place is packed with curiosities, great fashions, local arts and crafts, and a lot more. And be sure to say hi to Maureen, she runs the place. With such a long and rich history, it should go without saying that Hubbard's Cove has some great and eclectic antique shops. So take your time because there's lots to explore. Want some original art that's just not the norm? Check out our local chainsaw woodcarver, James. Each creation is a surefire conversation piece you just can't find anywhere else. Winding its way all the way through Hubbard's is the Trans Canada Trail. So bring your bike, your hiking boots, and explore some of our great nature. Yes, a camera should be considered as an essential item. One of the highlights of any stay in Hubbard's Cove has to be the Aspatoga. It's like a roller coaster ride you take in your car, and it's one of the greatest drives in the Maritimes. You'll find wonderful beaches and other treasures, and the one must-see experience is the Swiss Air Memorial. This is the second of two, and this one is by Bayswater Beach. The other is by Peggy's Cove. So even after all this, the kids still have energy to burn? Well, fortunately, we have plenty of play structures for them to work off the excess. These are just some of our hidden gems. We're kind of proud of them, you know, we kind of hold them near and dear to us, and we'd love for you to come out and see them for yourself. 